So here we have the Mercedes SLK 250 on a 15 plate. Uh, I'm going to show you around the outside of the car first of all, and then we'll hop in and I'll run through a few controls on the inside. Uh, as you'll see, it's a two-door car with alloy wheels. Uh, let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So with the roof up, this is the full boot space of the car. Uh, with the roof down, this would be in place and your boot space would be that section in there, which is still uh, pretty decent considering it's a metal uh, stowable roof. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then I will uh, jump in and run through some controls. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see not only is it in fantastic condition, but it's a really great looking car, particularly in white. Just briefly before climbing in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You've got full leather seats, as you can see, and those AMG mats. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the speedometer, and on the right-hand side, the rev counter. Uh, we've got the fuel gauge on the left and the oil temperature gauge on the right. And you'll see in the middle, we've got the trip computer. Uh, at first, at the top, it will show you what gear you're in. Uh, beneath that, we've got the trip computer mileage and then the total miles on the car, which are 21,287. You can change the information that's displayed up on there. Uh, by using the buttons on the steering wheel. So there's various bits of trip computer information, uh, fuel consumption, uh, and then the digital readout for the speedometer, which is very, very useful. If we back out to the steering wheel, we've got the buttons I was using a moment ago over here. So this controls everything that you see up on the steering wheel up there. And then we've got stereo controls here, as well as voice activation for the phone. So once you pair up your phone, hit that button, ask it to dial someone in your contacts list, and it will do that for you. Uh, now, although this car is an automatic, uh, we do have a manual sequential mode, so down a gear and up a gear. We've got the paddles there should you want to change gear manually. Setting up the phone and all those sorts of things are all done using the screen over in the centre here along with the unit beneath it. Uh, so this car has got DAB digital radio as well as FM and AM. You can listen to music via the six disc multi changer. Um, we've also got auxiliary or USB input I should say uh, and Bluetooth audio so you can stream music wirelessly from your phone as well. All of that is set up and controlled using this system just here. So you've got the various different buttons for the main menus, uh, the button for the volume and turning it on and off, skipping tracks, etc. It's all done there. Beneath that, we've got controls for the traction control. We can turn that off, hazard warning lights, and we can turn on or off the stop or start technology. So this car is designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that off should you wish to. Uh, beneath that, we've got the air conditioning. So temperatures adjustable over on this side. You can see it's going up, the temperature just there, and then fan speed with the dial on this side. And then simply hit AC to turn the air conditioning on. And then you've got the various different directions of the air uh, with all these other buttons just here. Next to that, you've got a 12 volt charging socket, the fully automatic gearbox. Uh, this will help us control the extra bits that are up on the screen as well. So you've got this little dial, and you can see as I'm turning it, it's highlighting different radio stations. Uh, you can go back a screen or cancel a suggestion as well. Uh, and then inside here is where you control the roof, which I'll come back to in a moment. In the central armrest, we've got a 12 volt charging socket and the USB socket. So I mentioned that I'll come back to the roof controls in a second. Very easy to operate. You've got one button that will do the windows down simultaneously. And then the silver lever that's within that uh, section that I opened up and showed you a moment ago that will do the roof. So what we'll do, I'll open the roof just so you can see it's full operation. It's really quick and obviously once you've done it, it gives you fantastic visibility all round. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, feel free to give any of our MJA sites a call. We'd love to hear from you soon.